Hello everyone and welcome to how to animate your automation car in BeamEng.Drive. Yes, my friends, I'll be showing you in this video step by step how to animate your awesome automation car props uh, in BeamEng.Drive so you can enjoy a more realistic and awesome experience driving your awesome creations. So let's follow these steps together step by step and let's see what's what. All right, so first things first, you need to download their uh, their awesome application. It's called uh, Auto Beam Animation Generator, and of course, huge, huge shout out and a huge thanks to the awesome creators of this awesome tool. Definitely, and a very, very awesome tool. Thank you so much to the creators of that awesome tool. It definitely helped making our of course, uh, automation and BMG experience more fun. Huge shout out to them. And of course, what you need to do is, of course, head to their link in the description below. Click on the link, download this awesome tool, and of course, install it on your computer so you'll be able to use it to make this uh, this thing happen. All right, so that's the first step. Second step is, of course, open your automation game and choose or create a car that the one that you want to use uh, this awesome tool to animate props inside this car to make them alive in the image that drive your choice you can create a brand new car or of course use a car that you have created before with an awesome interior and of course a dashboard instrument cluster and all of that in this particular uh, of course uh, video i'll be using this awesome bmw replica that i made before and of course i'll be using this particular car for our current challenge on our bn channel the 2001 rental car challenge if you want to participate also the link in the description below for my discord uh, discord page go there you can of course participate for the awesome chance to win this awesome car into your image that's right and as i mentioned in this particular uh, video i'll be using this one with uh, with this particular interior and in this particular video of course i'll be animating the basic things that i need of course the tool will give you a lot of options the tool will give you an option to, to animate a steering wheel rpm uh, wheel speed means of course uh, speedometer, coolant temp which is like a coolant gauge, oil temperature gauge, fuel gauge, boost gauge and much 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 more options as you can see. You know, uh, gear shifters, headlights, hazard lights, whatever. So in this particular video I'll be animating the basic things, basically the steering wheel, uh, the tachometer, speedometer and the fuel gauge and of course temperature gauge. Okay, so to make that works, it's pretty simple. All you need to do is, of course, is to create, as I mentioned, the car and make sure this is a very, very, very important step. You need to make sure to align and sort your your the props that you will be animating. Uh, you, need, you need, of course, to sort them in order behind each other to make this work. I'll show you an example. So this I'll be animating the steering wheel. I'll be animating the the needle of the, of course, tachometer and the needle of the speedometer, the needle of the uh, temperature gauge and the needle of the, of course, fuel gauge. And also, uh, I don't know, we'll see what happens. So to make that work, as I mentioned, you need to sort them behind each other like that. Make sure that they are actually behind each other. And of course, uh, you need, of course, to remember their ID, their, I, their ID number. The ID number is this little number, 135, 134, whatever. You need to remember this little number because this number will tell the tool what kind of prop you want to use. So, for example, I'll be starting with the steering wheel. So, it, it, you need to make sure, of course, the steering wheel is separated from the column because a lot of fixtures in automation, you will have the, the, the steering column uh, and the steering wheel together as a one fixture. Uh, so make sure that they are separated in this particular uh, car as you can see it's two separate props okay so 135 let's go to the to the tool it's going to select a function steering wheel here are the instructions as you can see pretty simple prop id i'll be writing 135 okay rotation green which is the, the default one degrees all of it it's default minus 900 degrees which is the degree uh, or you know uh, the maximum turn for the steering wheel left and right I always select counterclockwise counterclockwise will work absolutely perfectly if you go clockwise sometimes it will it will basically invert if you turn left it will go right so select counterclockwise and click calculate it will give you now this magic sentence copy it Control C and basically go to the of course uh, go to the card description and paste that 
uh, of course, uh, sentence. As you can see, I've already made, I've already made uh, some things that I'll be showing you later. So here we go, steering wheel. Just paste it right here. Click Control V and paste it. Then, of course, let me show you tachometer, which is the RPM. Again, now go back to the uh, fixtures. Here we go. So the next one is, of course, the as I mentioned, the RPM gauge. Here we go, RPM gauge, which is this one. So in the, in the in this particular area, the RPM is a little bit more, you know, not complex, a little bit more detailed. So you need to, you need to have two things: the RPM gauge itself and the RPM needle. So we will be, of course, animating the RPM needle, not the gauge itself, the needle only. So remember, the RPM needle is 134. That's the ID number. And also remember another thing, which is the RPM maximum number. Here it's 6 or 6,000. Obviously, this depends on your creation, your engine. If your engine rev up to 9,000, put an RPM gauge that will go to 9,000 or more or 11,000, whatever engine you are you made so in this particular car this engine here goes up to 6000 here we go 6000 that's the gauge that i that i've chosen and the needle you need to, of course to position the needle absolutely correctly on the zero area position it correctly and of course remember 6000 and remember the id 134 okay head back to the tool select rpm select put the prop id which is 134 that's well, that's the needle and then it will show you RPM minimum value zero, obviously max value right six thousand. That's your that's your RPM gauge. Select counterclockwise, click calculate, and just copy this sentence again. Go back to the uh, to description of the car right here, description, and and just paste it right here. As you can see, prop one thirty four blah blah blah. This is basically the the sentence. All good. Now we'll be doing the wheel speed. Now, of course, you, you can copy these things, but if you copy them, it will not work into your car because every car is different. Every prop number is different. And of course, every direction is different. So make sure to use the tool because, I mean, it will help you a lot. It's really easy. Third thing is, of course, speedometer. Same deal, same thing. Go to the uh, instrument cluster, as I mentioned, and select the correct needle, of course, as, as you... Uh, as I already told, you need to align them or sort them in order behind each other. This is very important to make it work. Select the needle. Again, remember the, the prop ID 133. And uh, look at your instrument cluster. In this particular car, it says 160 miles per hour or 240 kilometers per hour. My advice, because it's the big Latin, it will actually make it more, more, more correctly. Go with the miles per hour. Unless, of course, you select kilometer. It's a different ID. It's a different sort depends on your car just remember your maximum speed not not the car's speed remember the gauge speed because we are animating the needle i don't care how fast your car go your car can go, can go up to 120 and stop doesn't matter make sure to to remember the gauge top speed and of course to align the needle correctly on zero okay so prop id 133 for the needle and 160 miles per hour all right go back to the tool select uh, wheel speed which is basically speedometer uh, right 133 that's the needle of the speedometer uh, select miles per hour because i'll be using don't worry if you if you if you are using uh, kilometers per hour in bmg it will also work but this is just to animate correctly the gauge and the needle so miles per hour mag zero zero is the minimum value 160 miles per hour is the maximum value and select counterclockwise, calculate, copy this beautiful sentence. As, as always, go back to this description of the car and paste it right here. Paste it in the third place. All right, next we need to use, uh, we, need, uh, we need to animate the water pump or sorry, the water temperature or the coolant temperature gauge. Easy, go back again to the fixtures. Go back to the fixtures, go, go to freedom like this. Make sure to select the correct needle. Here's the water temperature needle. Again, make sure to align it correctly on the red area. And use the, I, I, and I use this awesome, uh, this particular gauge works absolutely fine. You can of course use another gauge. It, it'll also work fine. You just need to align 
the needle at the beginning and basically it's like people who designed this gauge are absolutely awesome people they made it absolutely correctly so you can use another gauge if you want uh, you have the vertical you have the uh, horizontal just align the red needle to the red area here and absolutely it will work fine in this particular mod uh, other mods i don't know i'm using this particular mod it works absolutely fine so as i mentioned align it correctly remember the prop which is 132 temperature gauge okay going back here cooling temperature 132 and basically just select counterclockwise and like don't don't touch these things basically if you want to touch the, i mean some on some cars of course the minimum value which is like here on the red on the cold area uh i mean these numbers are correct luke you can mess with them you can like put zero here but i i don't recommend that i recommend leaving it as it is because like 120 is basically boiling point for the coolant so just leave it as it is seriously leave it as it is select counterclockwise and of course calculate of course and copy this in other mods if you want to use another like other mods not this particular mod for for the for the coolant if you want to use another mod uh you'll have to you ha you'll have to understand the uh the degree of movement of the needle and you can change that the range of rotation you can change that right here in this particular mod 110 works perfectly with this mod so i highly recommend using this particular mod other mods can work but i highly recommend this particular mod okay so we, we did everything correctly just copy this and as always go to the description here we go description we go paste it right here as you can see water temperature perfectly now fuel gauge basically similar deal go back to the fixtures select the correct uh select the correct gauge which is this one 131 Again, make sure to align it correctly. Uh, let me align this one a little bit more. There we go. So make sure to align it correctly at the red, at the empty area. Here we go. And remember, it's 131. Go back to our tool. Hit fuel. 131. And counterclockwise. Again, you see, 110. This works perfectly. Calculate. Copy this. And drop it, paste it again into the description of the car right here right here absolutely perfectly and then of course job done you can export your car into bmg.drive and job done uh, what i did here i did something extra which is of course the radiator fan but for some reason uh i made it last night and it was absolutely perfectly always make sure that your prop props are actually correctly uh, you know a uh, correctly you know uh, sorted and aligned correctly together because last night i made it 130 as you can see like i made it 35 34 33 32 31 30 i i aligned them and i sorted them behind each other to make it work correctly but for some reason because this is automation and automation is still an experimental game for some reason it's jumped to 128 for jump to 128 which is not really correct uh let me fix that all right, so as you can see, I realigned them together again. Steering wheel 35, 34, 33, 31, 30, 31. And now, of course, we have 30, which is uh, the cooling fan. Go to the, uh, of course, tool, select radiator fan, and write 130. Uh, or depends on where, where, how, what the number of your, of course, of your props. Click counterclockwise, click calculate, and job done. Here's your. Here's your uh, magical sentence. Make, drop it into, drop it into, automation game description. Here we go. Radiator fans, spin, blah blah blah. One thirty. So now, as you can see, they are absolutely aligned. Thirty-five, thirty-four, thirty-three, thirty-two, thirty-one, thirty. Now, absolutely, is perfect. Now, of course, for, for this particular car, let's export it to Beamage the Drive. I, I highly recommend exporting it twice so that uh, the game will refresh correctly, so that the car will be exported correctly. Sometimes you can just want to one time refresh. You know, exporting the car works fine, but you know, I'm just like just to make sure everything works correctly, exporting it two times and job done voila now of course let's head back to automate uh, beam engine drive and let's test the car all right so we are in beam engine drive right now i've selected the car that we, that we were that we were of course editing the the bmw thing that we were editing okay so here we go 
Here I'm in, on the inside. Here we go. Steering wheel, right. Here we go. Left, right, left, right, left. Okay, now as you can see, we have a fuel gauge and a temperature gauge. Let's fire up the car. We have RPM. There we go, we have a speedometer. Now, of course, not only did we animate the, of course, the speedometer and the, inst you know, the, instrument, the instrument cluster, we also we animated also the radiator fan. The problem is, to make it work, we need to overheat the car. Not overheat it to make it to make it warm. So let's do that. We need to, of course, rev the engine to the moon. Here we go. Yeah, that's awesome. Lovely. Sweet, lovely indeed. All right, so yes, basically that's that's it. Basically that's it. That's uh, that's pretty much it. I, I I animated the things that I Oh, that thing got really hot. So I just animated the things that I that I that I think that I really like about the car. The basic things, basically, as I mentioned before, the steering wheel, the, of course, the, you know, the, the instrument cluster. Of course, the, the tool. The tool, of course, will give you much much more options. Like, of course, as I mentioned, engine load. You can actually you can actually make the engine pulleys spin. You can put some uh, pulleys, like you know, props on your engine to make it actually spin you can put parking brake uh, you know uh, you know the, the hand brake thing you can make a throttle you can make a brake clutch automatic shifter works you can make turn signal hazard switches as i mentioned you can make a lot of things it's a very very awesome tool and again a huge huge shout out to the awesome dudes who created this awesome tool amazing work thank you so much for such an amazing tool to make our automation bmng experience much much more awesome much much more fun and gentlemen that's pretty much it tell me what you think about this awesome tool in the comment section below uh, and i would love i would really love to test your awesome creations if you do create something in in, in of course in bmng the drive please i would love to i would love to give it a go i would love to drive it the link in the description below to my discord page you can share your awesome creations over there you can participate in our upcoming uh, or current running uh, of course uh, challenges we always do challenges uh, with, with awesome price cars to win and much much more so i would love to see you over there so that's pretty much it as i mentioned tell me in the comment section below and don't forget to hit that like button get subscribed and i'll see you very very soon gentlemen so thank you so much everyone for watching have a great night everyone or day and of course if you like my work don't forget to support me on my patreon page the link in the description below you can download all my awesome creations uh, into your beamage.drive you can of course sponsor your own automation challenges with your own rules on our channel you can of course get on the microphone with me when we do some awesome uh, broadcasting on twitch and more and much much more so thank you so much everyone for watching and goodbye for now my friends